Hello and welcome back to Dresdale, our PlayStation 4 CD Skyline City. Um, hope you're having a great day or evening or morning. It's going to be a good morning for me. And um, I have some bad news, I suppose. Uh, the last episode didn't record uh, for whatever reason. And you missed out on quite a bit of stuff, unfortunately. And I guess I'll go over it and bring you up to speed and then we'll kind of move on from there. Uh, so sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so, last episode that didn't make it, we completed the highway, so we got the highway connected to our sunken highway, from our main highway here, coming in, that looks nice, we put in the airport, and I think what happened, when, like, that messed up the video is I took a, a couple screenshots on the PlayStation to kind of see our tourist numbers and our tourist income to see if this thing actually uh, paid for itself or not, $4,800, and I think... It does. At least it did in this case. Uh, when I go over to the city info, I think we were at like seventeen or eighteen hundred. I had to look at the screen screenshots and bring them up, but I'm not going to mess around with that right now, just in case it doesn't record again. I want to say we were at like seventeen or eighteen hundred tours, so we got like another five hundred or so from it. So that's nice. And if we look at the economy, excuse me. Um. Our tourist went, income is 27k. I think it went from like 20 to 27, so we did get um, like 7,000 dollars more worth of income. So maybe we will put the international one and see if that changes and pays for itself. I, I said I haven't had really much success with the international airport. It just doesn't ever seem to have the volume. Or these ones actually, you know, there's a lot of planes coming in, but it could just be the map I was on at the time. I was on. Uh, one of the snow ones and like maybe people don't like to fly like I said but we're getting planes coming in here left and right look at them There's, and they're full they're, well this one's not full this one's full so there's another one that's full the red, the red ones are full <laughs> the blue ones are full I don't know what blue and red mean uh, maybe you do it post it in the comment below but uh yeah I mean this is from jet plane this is, oh, it doesn't tell you uh, I think if you click them on, on them while they're in the area, it might tell you where they're from. But you can see this this airport's pretty busy. It's a lot of people are coming in, and guess what? They're using the heck out of this thing. They're using the heck out of this thing. Gobbles and gobbles and globs of people are just coming in and coming out and going out to do whatever they want to do in our city here. Um, this thing's moving 642 people. That's, not, that's pretty good. Um, and they're in there, packed in there like sardines. So, but I actually went inside as a little man. Maybe we'll do it again real quick. Or I was a, I was a security guard at the time. So let's see what I'll be this time. I went over here, clicked here. Oh, I missed. Let's try it again. Oh no, I don't want to do that. There we go. Let's see if we can watch these folks get on out of here. Alright, I'm up here. If I go in here. How did I do it last time? I think I just did like... Ah, I messed this time. Well, anyway, I got up in there. I can see the folks uh, get pulled off. And they, were, and, they were, and they were doing pretty good. Um, but I'm not going to goof around with that right now. So, um, I might actually have to raise the budget on this, because we've got a lot of people in there, like, waiting. Um, it's a shame, I don't think you can see that, though, any, any of the panels, let me see. I go here. What can you see? Uh, cable cars aren't listed on here. I thought this was a monorail. So, and it's funny, they just, like, plop out, and, like, fall to the ground. Like they get like like they're shot out of a spaceship. Like <laughs> it's just so weird, <laughs> and they get sucked up like they're gonna like get teleported up. But um, man, that's working pretty good. So I got I was like super excited in that episode because I was like, yeah, we're building a, a cable car network, and we that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna to finish it. So this cable car runs right right along the main road here, comes across the park, and and drops people off here, and they can go to this MMT and do what they, what they want to do or they can go in the city and do what they want to do um, we can walk around maybe what we'll do is we'll actually let's just extend this down to here 
so that way people who maybe want to go they're getting on the bus they can go, there's a bus stop right there so they can get on the bus and do bus things uh, there's another bus stop here we can I said maybe we'll connect a path here to here so we want to do that right now because we don't really have anything in this space so let's go ahead and fill it up with some paths I mean why not right can we disconnect it right here I, I want to do uh, not snapping like that let's take this off too always oh, there it's always there something like that the people from over here and just take the shortcut just cut across or maybe we'll, we'll zone some office or something in here you know fill in this gap with something or put a little maybe we can see if there's like a little feature that'll fit in there you know someone like these little leisure items like a little like some of these are small like this I guess they could put something like that in there a little what's this the ball fork the playground I don't know if it fits you know we could figure something I'll figure something out something can go there But yeah, okay. So people are using that. They're coming out of the airport and they're doing that. So we're going to continue that. I know the route I want to take, so let's do that. Oh, uh, anything else I did? Mm, I did some detailing and stuff yesterday. Mm, I think I almost finished up this park as far as kind of getting the look and detail that I want to get. And it's looking good. Got some trees and stuff in here. Uh, I ran a, another uh, cargo line. This is for the future, so I just pulled off of here. Mm, and the track is there, yeah, we're good. One way track. Goes down here, across here. And I moved, so I moved over the, uh, this is the inner city line. I moved, this is our, our internal rail line, cargo line. I brought it here, and I brought it here, and it will eventually, uh, I was working on that, it'll come down here. I think we're gonna put, get it underground you know, sneak it in the trench. I'll blow these things up. They'll become little bridges. And I'll go like here and here. And then we'll put, because this is going to be a commercial area, like from here to here. But it's the commercial area is going to continue that way. So I want to bring in like a cargo station in here somewhere. And then probably one more on that tile. And then the cargo harbor rail. The cargo harbor hub, I think it's called. Which is uh, I think is uh, on their boats. This one, cargo cargo hub. This is the cargo harbor. So we'll put that up there, and we'll connect that train. That way, our train will be connected to the sea, so we can import and export. I guess we'll be exporting to the sea, or maybe what we'll do is um, we'll have one way to this station here, so that way there's no traffic between our. Um, cargo station in the industry maybe we'll make it two way I don't know sometimes it, it gets too much too busy with, with um, we'll have to see because we're not importing that much so there's just no point you know look at if we look at our numbers this isn't this is something you can do when you're trying to figure out you know what do you want to import export and all that stuff you look at your numbers here and we're, we're importing 202 units of goods that's a suck and nothing that's and you know we're exporting quite a bit actually uh, we're exporting a lot of p pink, so that's not really that good actually either. Well, it depends on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to have an industrial powerhouse type city that, you know, that's fine. But these are exporting, so I actually should have zoned these. Um, and this is going to cause excess traffic, so we're not going to zone industrial for a while. I'm just going to keep this alone until until that number goes down considerably. Tell that that purple goes away basically. And of course, we're exporting um, our unique factory goods too. So uh, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we're not. He's exporting. So he's got trucks probably all over the place exporting. Uh, does it tell you the trucks? Where's the trucks? It's got to be on here somewhere. Uh, maybe he's exporting via waterway. Somehow, because that waterway is so small, I don't know how to get a boat through it. But you don't have to worry about that. The game takes care of that itself. Uh, and of course we're exporting um, with Bumblebee tuna cans here. Our Bumblebee tuna is exporting. 
I don't know what this thing's doing. I guess it's doing something. We have a fish farm. I put a fish farm in a little while ago. I probably never told mention that. But yeah. I figured I might as well. Because, like, there's fish farms in here. And they're not unlocked yet, so. Let's unlock them. Production rate, 8,000 units. Eight, see? Why well, come this doesn't have production rate on there? Oh, oh, because it's fixed. That's why. They, they, they don't because it's it's variable, but they should have, like, up to, you know, on here. Up to, like, if you have 100% route, up to X, you know, amount per week. And then maybe we'll do another, some more fishing stuff in some of the commercial areas. We'll throw another fish thing over here. It's like, the fishing stuff's actually doing pretty good. Right here, it's like, I mean, we're, we're, we're selling some fish stuff, so, yeah, maybe we will, we'll see. Uh, Alright, let's run ourselves of, so what I wanted to do, we're gonna, uh, we can do, keep the game running, I guess, is we're gonna get rid of you, 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 I know, guys, I know, they're all like, dude, you just blew up my whole entire, like, my life, it's blown up. Yeah, I know, I did blow up the, your life, I blew your life up, sorry, I'm gonna wanna get it. Uh, here. I'm gonna do it like this. So I'm gonna put a road in here. I'm behind these houses. Because so I don't want the thing too 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 close. Because they're noisy, right? So we gotta. And we'll fix that later. So uh, I'm gonna put a road. Right here, here, to here, to here. We can put some stuff back in so the people who are walking are happy. We can actually just do that. Maybe we'll. You know, like, I don't know where to walk, bro. I know. We'll, we'll, we'll get you fixed up in a second. But I was walking on that walking thing. I said, I know. I know. I know. So maybe we'll come down to here, one unit. And we can come down here one unit. Or ten units. And build a road. Roads. Okay, go like this. And then we can fix our shoreline if we really want one too. But I'm not that worried about it. But we're here. That's going to create a little bit of a tidal wave. That was a little too aggressive with that, probably. Let's flatten it out a little bit. There we go. Looks nice and smooth. And I guess we'll do an end car. Let's see. How's that going to look? And then we might have to get rid of those houses. We'll see. Um, we gotta go to the cable car. End of line car. He's, ju he's just that. They might not be too upset. Maybe we put something in there that'll block their soundiness. If we did a, a car like this, we'd have to come in this way. And we, I, don't, I don't foresee putting another car up there. We have tram in here, we have bus in here. You know, I think we're okay there. So like the tram line can move people this way. The buses can bring them to the tram line. You know, they can get to the monorail. I mean the metro, to the hub. And they can get down to here. So I'm kind of like, eh. And of course they can get from here down to here. So whenever you're doing your mass transit, this is a little mass transit tip. You always want to just look at like, okay, if I'm, like, if I'm in the neighborhood. How do I get to every commercial area in the city from this neighborhood? Because that's all that matters. It doesn't, I keep saying this and I keep being proven right. I don't know why. So I'm never right. But um, people go from commercial or from residential to commercial, right? That's the biggest movement of people. Trucks go wherever they want. Just always remember that is randomly drive for places. And 
about half the people come back from commercial to residential which is your second influx of people and then some people go to industry to work but not many but some like you know we have this huge industrial complex okay there's probably a lot of jobs in there how many people are going there let's just look at it right now is this the line can I catch a train I don't know what, what train line is this where are you going yep that's our industrial line okay let's close that let's look at this line uh yeah here 129 residents a week two monorail cars with 60 people on it that's it so two monorail cars can handle this whole entire area I won't probably can handle the whole entire area this whole entire area all these buildings so my point is you don't need to really worry like no one goes here I mean compare that to like how many people are going through this park just walking 431 a week just walking right here it's like walking that doesn't count anybody driving I mean it doesn't count anyone driving there either but most people are going to take the monorail because they ain't this far on the highway no one's used to going driving here I mean look at the car there's this thing here there's like no one in here it's like five trucks that's it <laughs> is that right so the point is no one goes to, to, to industry not many I mean people do but it's just nowhere near the numbers of people that go from uh, residential to commercial so you don't really have to worry about that too much you can send like one train there or one monorail you know probably even just do like a couple bus line, bus, a bus route be done with it I do the monorail because we have the hub and it's just one station and it and just goes and you don't have to worry about it it just doesn't so it's good so uh, and no one goes to office no one N no one goes to office like three people in old city are driving to office right now that's it so that being said when you're looking at mass transit trying to figure out what the heck you want to do with your, with your people moving some and abouts and all that fun stuff is you look at where, where are my people and how do they get to commercial that's all you care about and then you can just make a return route because you're going to do one way there you might as well make a one, have them come back and just realize you're not, not all of them will come back who knows where they go I don't know where they go they went to a black hole to fix the universe I don't know who knows so um yeah so you, you say okay if I'm in this neighborhood here how do I get to this commercial area well I just take the path you know or or, or how do I get to this commercial area well we're going to put this thing in and they're going to go this way and there's a ton of people going to take this I can think I can see it now it's going to probably short circuit our park and no one's going to take our park but some people will still want to go here to go and job so it'll still our, our park numbers will probably drop in half I think let's just make a bet we're at like 4.30 maybe like in the twos because like now they're not going to come in here to go to here they're like go over here you might actually be able to get rid of the metro stop just blow it up and say goodbye that's my that's my my thinking because it's so much shorter just to go from here to here than it is to go up to here and then down here from this neighborhood people from here will probably get into this metro still you know they'll take the tram they'll get to the metro and come back this way to get to here to go because it's gonna that's easier than that might be easier than taking the tram down through here you know what I'm saying so you, know, you look at this neighborhood well how do I get to here or here you know okay well how do I get to there there's a metro you know I take the, there's a tram running through here it takes me to this metro stop the metro stop brings me around all the way to here and then the MMT takes me to the next MMT and I can go anywhere from there right if I live in this neighborhood here how do I get to here that's a good question we, we can't right now so we put a ferry stop here that's how you do it and that's how what we're gonna do I think we'll put a ferry stop here and bring it to here and then that way people from here can get to here to get into this commercial area and get to this commercial area through the, the subway so we're gonna put that in the, right, right after we do the cable car we're gonna do that because we don't have a I mean there's a way to do it you you walk through here hit on this monorail you go all the way around here up into here and then take the MMT over but that's kind of far that's kind of like kind of convoluted maybe is the right word it's a little wonky and out of the way so let's just put a ferry stop here and then that way people can take in this neighborhood can take this minor monorail to this monorail and they come right down and we'll put the ferry stop right I can't see the thing right in here I was saving that's why you know and we will put the bus we can, we can dip into there instead of like or something we'll put a walking path 
you know, same thing from over here. If I'm in this neighborhood, here, you know, I live in this big area. How do I get? How do I get to here, or here? Well, I, right now, I, I mean, I, I kind of struggle because I got to take the monorail to here, and I take the train to here, and I take the train to here, and then I take the the metro down into here, then I walk to here. That's like a lot. All right, I go really, really far, far away instead of just coming from here to here. I go all the way around the whole city, basically, to get to here. So what I, what I do, I just drive, and I just take the bridge, which you know the bridge isn't that busy. So it's like, yeah, we can just let them drive and say, nah, we're not going to worry about it. But we're making a hundred and twenty to two hundred thousand a week, and got two hundred thirty million. We can afford to put in a ferry stop. That's all I'm saying. We can afford to do it. So that's what we do. Well, I like fairies. We're going to have boats flo floating around. You know, we got tons of boats in here. It's active. It's cool. It's good. And we got a cool little, you know, we got this. Oh, I love this thing. It's so awesome. Imagine being in that. So high up in the sky. Going around these uh, hotels and stuff. Zipping through the city in a little freaking, like, ski lift. Like, they look like the gondolas of those of, of, of us who are skiers or snowboarders. You know, go to the mountains, big mountains where they got gondolas. That's what the, these things remind me of, the gondolas. You know, it was cool. You get in there and just float around. I used to like going in the gondolas when I skied, and going up the mountain. You get through the views and everything. So that's how you want to figure out your mass transit. How do I get to my commercial areas from my residential areas? That's all you care about. Or also from like like major injections of tourists. So like the, you know, wherever you connect your train line from the out to the outside. So like this MMT here, is it receiving outside visitors from the train? You know, so how do I get there from from here? And of course, the MMT is connected to everything, right? We have a train that's connected to here, and the net is connected to this MMT, which is not. I mean, I guess if they wanted to go to the school, they could. But you know, and then eventually we'll have to connect this, and then technically through this, they're connected to like whatever we do in here, because we have a, another uh, slot here. We're gonna bring this around to like here. So this in this uh, area here, we'll get the cable car, or maybe we'll even have a stop here in the university, and then we'll have a stop here, so people can get to the university. And we're just gonna do a whole cable car network in here. It's gonna look, look pretty cool. It's gonna be pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, my boss says noise because he's a young guy. My boss is younger than me. I'm not jealous or anything. It's just hey, that's good for him. He wanted to be a supervisor. Supervisors work a lot more work, do a lot more work for a little, little bit more pay. <laughs> So I say, yeah, go for that. Oh, um, you know. But let's see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so let's do it. Um, let's hook up the... We're going to hook... We're going to come down this area here, where I think we can bend it to here. And then we're going to blow this building up. And maybe we'll go right over top and land a pillar right here. Or right here. And then we'll go right over top the ferry. So we're going to go right over top some of our mass transit with our other mass transit. And then we're going to plop it right into here. So let's put the station in, and we can move the station. So we do an end station, and maybe we'll put it in the middle, and let's run the line. Let's just stop talking about it. Let's do it. I'll we'll put you here, and we gotta go up. We gotta get some height. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get it up to like the, I guess that piece. Let's see how that looks. That's not too bad. That's a nice night. And we gotta go this way. In other words, we're gonna drop the pillar. So the path can stay. I put it here. Oh, drop the pillar. So it's gonna blow up that building. So all those buildings there. Oh, I wanna go high, man. I don't know. I mean, I wanna go high. I wanna go all the way up. Now where's the next pillar gonna land? Can I how far out can I go before I have to hit a pillar? Oh these things go far. I forgot how far oh, right there. That's good. I think that's gonna be nice. Let's do it there. And then keep it up this high. I'll put it in the middle of the water. Then we gotta make a turn. So I don't wanna put a pillar in the middle of my ferry route. <laughs> And then we gotta come down. 
that's an invalid shape, so we got to figure out where the turning is. We got to start stepping her down. I think we might make it. Let's see. Uh, okay, so we're going to have to plant a pillar and then turn it a little bit. Now, this part might get a little tricky. How far do we go to get invalid right here? I know what's the angle look like. That doesn't look too bad. Are we going to have enough to, to come down? Maybe we'll come down to here. Let's see. Yeah, we'll come down to that one. I don't like it. Can I go this way? Sorry for the spinning. I'm just trying to get to this side of the thing here. Come down to here. I feel like that's going to be okay. Can we then make a turn? I don't know. Let's see. <gasps> Ooh. There we did it. We did it, fellas. That's a little bit steep. So maybe we can bring this. So now we kind of know where it's going to go. So let's get rid of this. Come from this way. You know, it's like right here, right? So let's do this. Let's get some height here. That's not too bad. Can we just then go to here? There we go. Oh, there's a tear in the fabric of space time. What is underneath? Oh, the fairy pierce. They go down all the way down to the the depth span. All the way down to the end of the earth. Yeah, that's crazy. Alright, so that's good. And then we're gonna pull this bus line in here. And this bus line is gonna get super crowded <laughs> really quick. Uh I, I that's my that's my feeling. Oh, I, I can't. That's <laughs> about to grab the bus and drag the bus. <laughs> uh, that's not how bus lines work. Uh, I have a I have a bus a whole episode, two episodes probably on buses. And yeah, I didn't do that then. I was about to do that. I was like <laughs> about to grab that bus and just pull it over. Um, there's a stop here. So let's make the stop here. Stop here. And maybe we bring, if it's busy, maybe we'll bring the tram down here. We'll pull the tram around down here, and then we'll have the tram come here. And then the tram can go up here to do its loop. And maybe the tram goes, runs from here to here. Like maybe we, we bring it, we don't put the stop here. We have it come down here, stop here. Well then you can't do a collapsing route. Mm, Kenya. Mm. I'm trying to think. Can you do that like this? Come back. It would split, and it would be two root two. Mm, I don't know. Well, that's, we'll have to get that some thought. Can you do? Because you can do like goofy things with collapsing roots and have them poke out. You just gotta do it like. Because that's what we did over here. We have this collapsing root, and it goes left to right, but then we also made it go up up and down, and it, so it does collapse on itself up here, too. So you just got to build a loop somewhere. And where would we loop it? Where would we, where are we going to get loopy? Like right in here, maybe? This would be like the loop. So we could come down here. Go here, loop. Come up here, and loop, and go like that. Hmm, that's what we're gonna do. I think that's what we're gonna do. We'll just get rid of this stop here. Well, let, let's see what the buses do. I have a feeling the buses aren't gonna do too hot. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. We'll give them a shot. I'll give them a chance. Nah, let's give them some trees. They're gonna want some, some sound protection. And then maybe we'll connect the path to here to here. That's our bike lane, but I don't know. I was thinking maybe just run a path from here to here, but then they can't cross the street to get to this path. Which takes them to the tram. Hmm. We could run bike up here. Maybe we we'll run bike on this side. Up to the up to there. Let's try that. Let's see if people take the bike. I'm gonna save him. We don't have a bike here. I'm gonna bike up to there. 
and maybe they can get on here and back back to this piece. I don't know. We'll see. Well, but I have a feeling it's gonna work out pretty pretty nice. We might lose some money, but we don't need the money anymore. There we go. We'll just give you a little bit extra soil there. Maybe we can pull it out. Just so it's look a little bit flatter, a little bit more of a shoreline, and then we can fix our walking path, I suppose. Oh, we're starting to get that little bit of hump. You see it right there? Let's bring this out. Uh, it's going to be X. X button. Yeah, something like that might be okay. Uh, okay. And then maybe we can put some piers in here. So let's run it. Oh, we need to put a ferry in. Mm-hmm. Doing that first. Nice try. Come back to that later. Nice try, guy. And then we can do uh, this. We can do like an L-shaped road here. Mm-hmm. 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 Do you need... Do you, maybe we'll make it a little... Uh, we'll have it ramp down. Yeah, so it'll be closer to the water, water level. To something like this. Uh, we'll come up this road here. Angry man. That's going to cause some flooding. For those poor residents. That's too bad. Oh, why that was displacing. I don't this thing. And we can put on a quay. Quay, 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 I don't know. What I'm trying to say. And then do we want to have the ferry route? Let's take a look at our ferry routes. Do we want to do a big one? Like this over here. And have a route go here. So we can actually just connect them to here, I think. And then it'll, it'll just go over here. I think that'll be... A, We'll just have them jump to here. That's not that far. So they can go here to here. And then if they want, they can hop on the ferry. And they can go to here. And then they can go all the way down here. So I don't think we need to put like a second route in here. It's just like duplicating this route, basically. I mean, it's not, like I said, it's not that much different if we run around to here to here. Then if they just come. I'm probably going so fast. You're like, what's he doing to make me sick? Sorry. Because it's in my brain that how we're doing it. So it's like, I know, I know what I'm doing, you know? I'm like, oh, I'm excited. Like, let's go over here. Let's go over here. But yeah. So, um, yeah. So I don't. Uh, I don't. Can we go through here? I think. Oh, oh, geez. We gotta go around. So we can go around and come down. I guess. So it'd be like that. Uh, like this. Uh, that's fine. I was gonna make a 90 degree bend. I. Th but I think it'll go through because this is a record. I think it'll go through here. We'll find out. And then we'll put a route right here. And whichever one we're not using the most, we'll just make. Which I think is going to be this round. Which I maybe will make a different color. It's like orange. Let's make it water color blue. So, uh, some blue. That way like, I can tell which, which boats are which. The blue ones I think are going over here. Yeah, it's a blue boat. And then we don't have that many blue boats. And the route's long. So that means they're not going to be at the pier a lot. So maybe we'll do, we'll connect it to the blue line. Connect this line to the blue line. Or we can even just make the blue line this line. Let's make it like one, one, one continuous loop. I mean, you can do that. I have no problem with that either. Um, it, the, the, I mean, it's nice because then you don't have that many lines in your tab. But at the same time, um, you can't control just these number of boats going from here to here so because like it, it might be that this becomes real busy high density uh residential right so you know you might find that you need like four boats here but in order to get four boats here going back and forth in a short distance you might need to put like 10 boats on the line because this is so long so you, you might just want to make this um its own little short route that way you, you can use the control of how many vehicles go from here to here without affecting the number of vehicles go here here that makes sense. So sometimes it's better to have shorter routes like that, but sometimes you, you can do, you know, do the whole thing. I just realize you might have, um, you lose a little control for, I guess, maybe a little bit of convenience. I don't know. Uh-huh. 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 Already 376 people on it. And this bus line is probably slammed. Uh, 69. Where are they at? Up here, huh? Oh, they're coming from here. 
How was this bus line? He's probably the one getting slammed more. No? Well, I'm surprised because he's got the closer route, I would think. He's only like two stops away. Maybe they haven't figured that out yet. Or maybe they're coming by, by foot. We're taking our bike lane? Oh, this guy is. This guy is. So we're biking and walking. And the game's still figuring it out. I think. It's going to take a little time. Let the game go. Oh, man, we can go here. You mean we can go here now? That is pretty cool. I lost my one walking route, so we can fix that too. We can do something like. Uh, let's put a thing here. We're at the. We're in the natural reserve park, right? Area. I try not to mix assets. I'd love to put actually a, one of these guys in here. Maybe I will. I don't know if it messes up the park or not, but this thing looks like it'll fit perfectly right, right here. Make people happy. Put one of these in here. Like when you come, you can have it. You can go jump on the things. This doesn't really have like entertaining things like that in here. It's got. I don't know if I want to put a campsite right, right, right there, right? Um, I can put some piers in. You know, fishing piers again, or we can just do the gondola piers. Uh, maybe we'll do a little park here. Uh, we'll do another park. Uh, should we? Then I gotta put in a park gate. I don't really want to do all that. It's like not enough for this little area like this. But we could put like a little park on here. Hmm. Eh, maybe we will. Maybe we'll put a gate here and a gate there, and people can walk through. So let's do a little park. You know me. I love parks. Parks are everywhere. They should go everywhere in your city. Your area should always be covered 100% in at least parks. I'm messing up already. Look at this. I'm messing this up. So your area should always be covered in a park. <laughs> or if you can't, because this is a college, then. Oh, well, I, I did that on purpose. I'm like, why is that like that? Yeah. Okay. Always be covered in a park zone. <laughs> It gives you your entertainment stuff. Makes them all blue. We want them all blue. So let's do a gate in here. Uh, park side gate. Side park. No, this gate. Oh, we're not. We're not. Uh, we gotta do our own park area. So we gotta do this. This will make. Oh, oh yeah, that work. So probably make them unhappy. Actually, we're gonna do Vermont Park. On the fly, parking on the fly. We need to get the water on in our park. There we go. Um, uh, yeah, that way we want the door bridge. Area must have main gate. Oh, I'm on the gate. That's why. Uh, sure. Why not? Let's do the side gate. Do the side gate there. Do the side gate here. Now we'll do a side gate up here. And we'll do it like a little park. Uh, do we want to do the park path? We can. Or we can just do a regular path. I mean the uh, natural reserve path. It doesn't have to be this path. And maybe we will. Maybe we'll do like a, a mix and match. So now this became about not running on my ferry and, and I'll put a park in. I'm not too excited about uh, you know what? Let's make it like let's do the park. Okay. We're coming right here. We'll do the same thing over here. do a oh no we're flooding we're flooding folks because you went down why'd you go down why did you go down like that and then we'll connect our walking pass it's all about parks it was going to be about cable cars and ferries now it's the turned into parks so 
sorry folks. I gotta really name this one. Alright. Oh, that's good. Random park on the coast. Random park on the coast. Pull that out a little bit. We're losing our, our losing our land. Actually, am I gonna put something on here? I might. Yeah, let's do some some maybe in here. Uh, we're gonna do two. We're gonna do. It. Well, I don't know why I did that. No, no, don't care. Okay, there we go. And then we'll do some park assets in here. Uh, floods of people's houses. Something like uh, even do a plaza in here. Maybe we will. Just center with this guy. center him, did we? Let's send him up here. By this tile here. By right about here. I see the match up there. Right about there. There we go. And um, let's see what else we want to put in here. I do want to put some of these back, these on here. And we're not in the park area apparently. Park area was out in the water, but then I erased some of it, so that's why that happened, I guess. More park area, please. There we go. I don't know why I'm being cheap with the park area. <laughs> let's, let's make it everything. No, well, we're gonna cut this episode a little short. We're gonna when we come back, we'll put the rest of this park in. We'll, we'll run that ferry down. I think we're gonna call it a day. It's been a pleasure uh, hanging out with you. Take care.